In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to connect GrandMA2 to show a cockpit. The first thing you want to do is get GrandMA set up to do this. So we'll go Setup, and under Global Settings, we'll go to Remotes, and then Enable it. This is defaulted to Disabled, so you'll need to enable it. From here, we can go to User and Profile Setup, and create a new user for our remote to use. We're going to set this up as Remote, and then the password will also be remote. As far as Grand MA side, this is pretty much good to go. So we're going to move over to show cockpit now. So I'm just going to make a new project here. And then I'm going to add MA lighting, Grand MA. So we'll need to configure this here. So the IP address, uh, this isn't currently accurate. This always defaults to 127.0.0.1. So we'll change that. So let's confirm this by going to MA network control. And as you can see, there's our IP address. So we'll change that. Okay, so that's updated. And then we'll put in the username and password of the remote user we just created. So it's remote and remote. Okay, so as far as everything else, that's pretty much all we need to do here. So let's go ahead and flip Grand MA on. There we go, it's connected. And then if we go into our user and profiles again, we can see one user is logged in. So that's show cockpit. Uh, that's pretty much everything you need to do to get these two pieces of software communicating between each other. In another video, I'm going to show you how to set up a, uh, an Akai APC40 Mark II to work with Grand MA uh, and show cockpit, but uh, that's it for now. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know uh, in the comments below, and I will do my best to get to them as quickly as possible. But I hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.